For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir Technologies has been one of the most impressive performers in the stock market throughout 2024, and its remarkable rise has not gone unnoticed. With its roots in data analytics, Palantir has managed to significantly outperform both its peers and the broader market, catching the eye of both bullish investors who are excited about the company's potential and bearish investors who believe that the stock's run may be coming to an end. The the company's stock price has surged by roughly 150% this year, this incredible performance, while a boon for early investors, has raised questions about the sustainability of such gains. The significant rise in the stock price has left Palantir shares trading at a valuation of roughly 108 times the earnings that Wall Street analysts have estimated the company will generate over the next 12 months, according to data provided by FactSet. To put this into perspective, the average software company in the S&P 500 trades at a valuation multiple that is nearly half of of Palantir's, making the company appear quite expensive in comparison to its industry peers. Such a high valuation has given bears, particularly short sellers, more reason to take a closer look at Palantir and make bearish bets against it. Short sellers are investors who borrow shares that they don't currently own, with the intention of selling them in the hopes of buying them back later at a lower price, thus profiting from the difference. The increase in Palantir's stock price has prompted short sellers to make more aggressive moves. At the beginning of October, nearly 98 million shares of Palantir had been sold short, according to information from Matthew Unterman, who is the managing director at the short-selling research firm S3 Partners. This represents a staggering 81% increase in the number of shorted shares compared to the start of September, marking the largest increase in short interest for any company within the S&P 500. The sheer magnitude of short interest in Palantir shares suggests that many bearish investors are betting heavily on a price decline. Short interest, which is a measure of how much stock has been sold short relative to the total amount available for trading provides a useful indicator of market sentiment. While the average short interest for a company within the S&P 500 is a little less than 3%, Palantir's short interest currently sits at around 6%, more than double the average. When short interest in a stock is high, it can serve as a warning sign to bullish investors, signaling that bearish investors see an opportunity for the stock to drop in price. But short interest alone doesn't tell the full story. While a high level of short interest may indicate that bears expect the stock to decline, it can also create the potential for a short squeeze. A short squeeze happens when positive news or an unexpected price increase forces short sellers to buy back the shares they borrowed in order to close out their positions, which in turn drives the stock price even higher. For bullish investors, a short squeeze can result in significant gains as short sellers rush to buy shares and push the stock upward. While many tech companies enjoy a strong buy rating from analysts, only 26% of the analysts covering Palantir recommend buying its shares. This contrasts sharply with the average buy rating ratio for stocks in the S&P 500, which typically hovers around 55%. Furthermore, the average analyst price target for Palantir is approximately $28 per share, which is roughly 34% lower than the stock's recent trading levels. This suggests that from the perspective of many analysts, Palantir's stock may be overvalued at current prices, leaving limited upside potential in the near term. Of course, it's important to remember that analysts and bearish investors aren't always correct. Markets can be unpredictable, and high short interest often carries the risk of a short squeeze, particularly when a company has strong fundamentals or positive news that could lift its stock price. If Palantir announces favorable news, such as new contracts or advancements in its technology, the stock price could rise significantly, forcing short sellers to cover their positions. This, in turn, could lead to even more upward momentum, as the bears are forced to buy back shares they previously sold, creating a potential windfall for bullish investors. Looking beyond Palantir, other major technology companies have also been the target of increased short-selling activity. According to data from S3 Partners, companies like Hewlett Packard Enterprise, HP, and Amazon have experienced double-digit increases in the number of shares sold short during September. Similar to Palantir, these companies have seen notable stock gains in 2024, with the average year-to-date gain for these four tech stocks hovering around 32%. Short sellers are likely looking at these stocks with the expectation 
that they may give up some of their recent gains, much like they expect Palantir to do. This rise in short interest across several major technology companies indicates a broader trend of bearish sentiment within the sector, especially among those stocks that have seen substantial price increases over the course of the year. However, as with Palantir, the presence of high short interest in these stocks could also lead to the possibility of short squeezes if the companies announce positive news or if the market sentiment shifts in their favor. To summarize, Palantir Technologies has enjoyed a phenomenal run in 2024, with its stock price increasing by approximately 150%. However, this rapid rise has attracted the attention of short sellers, who are betting that the stock's high valuation and recent gains may not be sustainable. Nearly 98 million shares have been sold short, marking a significant increase in bearish sentiment toward the company. Wall Street analysts are also cautious, with only 26% recommending a buy rating and the average price target well below current levels. Despite these concerns, there remains the potential for a short squeeze, particularly if Palantir continues to deliver positive news or strong performance. Other major technology companies such as Hewlett Packard and Amazon are also facing increased short selling pressure, suggesting a broader trend of bearish sentiment within the tech sector. For investors, the situation presents both risks and opportunities. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.